Hey, what's up guys? This is Dan, the retired broker. I'm out on the road right now. And I wanna show you the first house I ever bought. So I recently sold it and I cleared 200,000 on the deal. Let me show you this house. I had this, I think I bought it in the end of 2006 and it was just rented the whole time. I had a long-term tenant there. Let me show you. So there it is, it's a brick duplex, up and down unit, uh, built over a hundred years ago. But I had this rented out for about 16 years. All brick duplexes on this street. So that house I had for almost, yeah, about 16 years. And this was such a good money maker for me. I bought the house for 150,000, paid down a lot of the mortgage, and I sold it for 350,000. I just sold it this summer, summer of 22, and I recently talked to my realtor again. He told me if we listed it now in August, we'd probably get about 50 grand less. So I sold it at the exact peak of the market. I timed it perfectly. Like I said, cleared about 200,000 on the deal. So when I first bought it, each side was renting for 750. At the time I sold it, each side was renting for 1500. The rents doubled over time. So this is what I'm telling you guys over the long term. I buy and hold quality assets for the long term. And over the long term, you're going to win if you have the right assets. So not only did I double the value of the property, I doubled my rents. This is cash flowing really easy. So I remember the top tenant I had, she was working at a factory in Detroit, at one of the car factories. And yeah, there's still a few factories in Detroit. There's not what it used to be. But she wanted to live there until she retired. She rented the house for me for 12 years. So I had 12 years of continuous rents there. I did have to put on a new roof and I had to replace the front uh, steps, which were concrete. Those were the two big expenses I had. But other than that, this thing was just an amazing asset and I cleared so much money on it. Now the tenant I had that I was telling you about that was working in the factory, she treated it like it was hers. It was amazing. She put in a new kitchen. She kept it clean. She fixed, she fixed it up, really maintained it over the years. So I lucked out with having a good tenant there and I bought it and sold it at the exact right times. Now, <clears throat> how much of that was luck? Sure. Did I know I bought it at a good time? Kind of. Did I know I sold it at a good time? Well, yeah, I did. I knew it was the time to sell. I wanted to keep these assets forever, but I saw this opportunity to sell, so I took it. I had to. And now I can enjoy my profit. I'll probably reinvest it. I'm not sure in what, but uh, maybe some more dividend stocks. I don't know if I'm going to buy any more houses. I'm at a dozen right now. I think I'm going to keep that number going forward, but I just wanted to show you this and show you long-term appreciation and quality, desirable assets is what's going to win the game. Usually it's not a quick hustle, guys. It takes a long time and now I can reap the benefits. So let me know your thoughts in the questions and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, guys.